Hi everybody, it's T.G. Taro, and I'd like to talk to you about uh, shyness and, and approach anxiety today. Often, uh, both men and women uh, experience extreme shyness when trying to introduce themselves or say hello to a new person, especially uh, when it's somebody of the opposite sex, okay? Uh, and it's called technically social anxiety, uh, shyness, approach anxiety. And uh, though men and women, of course, have slightly different, uh, how do I say it, uh, ways when they experience it, the, the symptoms are very similar. Uh, men have a lot, experience a lot of fear when they approach a woman to say hello or introduce themselves or ask for a phone number. And women experience the same kind of anxiety when they're approached, okay, by a man to ask for his phone, their phone number or to introduce themselves, okay. So it's the same thing, but just happens in a slightly different way because that's women and men interact with each other differently. Uh, <clears throat> often this is accompanied by physical symptoms. Very often you've heard of the lump in the throat or the butterflies in the stomach. These are symptoms of fear and anxiety. Uh, EFT is just a wonderful technique for treating this kind of social anxiety. It's very effective and I often recommend to my clients before they go into a uh, social situation or before they approach a particular person, woman or man or they're interested in, they do they spend a little moment beforehand doing the following EFT tapping routine. So here we go. Uh, EFT for treating social anxiety, approach anxiety uh, for both men and women. All right, so first of all, let's start tapping at the karate chop. And you want to tune in uh, to the level of the anxiety uh, on a level on a scale of 0 to 10. In other words, uh, 10, you're screaming or you're crying, and 0, there's nothing there. It's all gone. Uh, also, you want to, if you're feeling any physical symptoms like uh, the butterflies in the stomach or a tightness in your chest or a lump in your throat, Take note of that, because we will use that in our EFT uh, tapping routine. So again, uh, EFT again is a form of uh, meridian th therapy or energy healing. It's been around for thousands of years. It's been rebranded and renamed a few times. It's often known as meridian tapping, chakra tapping, thought field therapy, EFT, etc. It's a whole alphabet soup of different initials. Still the same thing. We're just tapping various energy points on the body while uh, stating a, uh, an affirmation or healing statement. Okay? So again, uh, follow along. It's very easy. Just tap 10 times wherever I tap, okay? And just repeat the healing statements and affirmations that I'll be making. So tap where I tap and repeat what I say. It's that easy. So here we go. First setup phrase. Even though I have this shyness and fear and anxiety in my, and you could say pit of my stomach, my throat, tightness in my chest, if you have a, phys a physical statement, a physical sensation, uh, just you know, state it there, okay? So even though I have this fear and anxiety, and I feel it in my wherever, okay, tightness in my chest, lump in my throat, etc. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, very good. So even though I have this fear and anxiety and this feeling of in my, okay, you fill in the blanks, and my number is on a scale of 0 to 10, okay, I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. All right, so I'm going to repeat it two more times. Slightly different. So even though I have this fear and anxiety, and I feel it in my, 
I choose to heal and let go all fear and anxiety in my and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Very good. We'll do it one more time. So even though I have this fear and anxiety and I feel it in my fill in the blanks, today I set a firm intention to heal and let go all fear and anxiety in my and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Very good. Now, let's, what we're going to do now is the reminder phrase. We're going to tap other tapping points, well, again, with a simpler reminder phrase, top of the head. All fear and anxiety in my, and fill in the blanks if there's a particular part of your body that, where you're feeling sensations. Okay. Eyebrow, all fear and anxiety in my, fill in the blanks. Tap ten times each tapping point. Okay, tap on the outside corner of the eye. All fear and anxiety in my. Very good. Under the eye, on the cheekbone now. All social fear and anxiety in my. Again, fill in the blanks. Again, you can change the statement to suit your feelings. Just be guided by your own subconscious and your own intuition. Under the nose. All social fear and anxiety in my. Under the mouth now. All social fear and anxiety in my. Fill in the blanks. Collarbone. All social fear and anxiety in my. Okay. Under the arm. All social fear and anxiety in my. Karate chop. So even though I have this fear and anxiety, social fear and anxiety, and I feel it in my part of your body, wherever you feel it, if you have a body feeling, today I set a firm intention to heal and let go all social anxiety in my, and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Very good. Let's go top of the head. I choose to heal and let go all social anxiety in my eyebrow. I deserve to heal and let go all social anxiety in my okay, outside corner of the eye. I give myself permission to heal and let go all social anxiety in my fill in the blanks. It's a part of your body that feels a sensation like tightness in the chest or butterflies in your stomach or a lump in your throat. Okay, very good. Let's go cheekbone under the eye. I am willing to heal and let go. All social anxiety in my very good under the nose. It's safe for me to heal and let go. All social anxiety in my fill in the blank out of the mouth. I have the power to heal and let go. All social anxiety in my. Okay, collarbone. I like the way it feels when I heal and let go. All social anxiety in my. Okay, on the arm. It's easy for me to heal and let go. All social anxiety in my. Karate chop now. So even though I have this social fear and anxiety, and I feel it in my, again, chest, stomach, throat, okay, today I set a firm intention to heal and let go all social anxiety in my, fill in the blank, and I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Okay, very good. Let's go top of the head. Letting go of all social anxiety in my fill in the blank. Okay, eyebrow letting go. Side of the eye letting go. Under the eye letting go. Under the nose letting go. Under the mouth letting go. 
collarbone letting go under the arm letting go karate chop letting go of all social anxiety in my fill in the blank and I deeply and completely love accept and forgive myself take a deep breath and I'll release okay now you'll want to tune in uh, has the anxiety gone down? Are the physical symptoms diminished? If they've gone down to, you know, if they were up at a 9 or a 10 and they've gone down to a 5, you may want to do it a second time. You do another tapping routine a second time. Uh, if it's gone down to a 2 or a 1, well, you're good to go. Sometimes you may have to do it three times. But again, the amazing things, in 10 minutes we've taken a, you know, situation, uh of fear and anxiety and we've managed to treat it without meds without you know very quickly very safely without any invasive procedure and it works that's the amazing thing all right blessings namaste check in with me let me know how things work out bye bye